that was close. We're back on Essential RC with part two of our journey with the Interceptor version two from Stunt Double. Stunt Double. This, this great guy who um, produces these designs that you can use for free. I did uh, throw him a few quid, actually, uh, Nick. Um, Nick put this together, and if you saw our last video, we ran it without all the FPV gear. Yeah, so just straight. Just straight. Um, but what I've done now, and um, got it all trimmed out, flew really nicely, but now we've I've put... Um, a Maytek flight controller in it and DJI 03 so that Nick here can get the FPV experience. I think for this flight, first flight, I'm going to fly at line of sight yep. while you wear the goggles because it's your first time flying it is, or experiencing FPV. <laughs> FPV. And I think when you fly FPV for the first time, you can be a bit daunted by all the telemetry that you get because there is a lot of telemetry, the altitude, the speed, the max speed, the, all the voltage telemetry, the amps the return to home indicator, vector, um, distance from home, and all of that, and, and when to use it, plus the different flight modes, like loiter and return to home, and all of this different stuff that you can use. It's brilliant for that, but it's a, it's a lot to take on the first time you, you see all of that. So if we do a nice nice flight, ne not necessarily about speed, but we'll do a, a couple of fast passes, then you can, maybe, if, if it all trims out nicely, then you can take control on the, on the sticks. Perfect. All right, so here we go. First flight FPV on the Interceptor version two. Wish us luck. Armed. Yeah. And I'm in that mode. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. We've just got a warning message, aircraft processor overheated. It is still working. It might cool down. Okay, I'll keep you posted. Low rates. <laughs> I'm in it this acro time. Mode. Right, we're in acro mode. That feels quite good actually. Looks good on here. Fast pass coming up. Show the speeds. Talk to me, Goose. Where is the speed? At the top? 55, 93 mph? Yeah, 93 mph. I had to find it. Roger that. Um, it's miles per hour. 93, yeah, 93. 93 miles was per hour that? That looked recording. about just under 100 miles an hour to me. Yeah. And how's the view? The view good? Yeah, view's really good, yeah. Yeah, perfect on the thing. Oh, just saw, I don't know who that was. <laughs> no, there's nothing in front of you. Was there? No. No? Oh, something went flying past us. Swapping to high rates. Okay, you got the patch. Batteries at 3.72. Yeah. Yeah, go for it, Michael. 3.69. It's just 24%. Is it? Yeah, apparently so. That's at half load. Yeah. Half throttle. 26%. Okay, so I'm just going to stooge around on this flight. But actually, I've not even had to do an. I've not even had to do an auto tune. All the, the rates are good, it's auto levelling, which is nice. Got a man out on the patch as well, retrieving. Yeah, got a man out there, he's just retrieving, Sound Michael. I'll tell you when he's clear. Yeah. Pack down to 0%, it says. All oh, right. Which <laughs> landing from the left? You got yeah, landing from the left because the wind is up now. Landing from the left! One coming in, Michael. You're all right. You'll be clear. All clear. Oh, 
water. Yay. Around it. <laughs> the camera's even facing us. Handbrake <laughs> turn. Handbrake turn. I went to, a bit closer to the fence to uh, to do the landing. But how Perfect. was the how was the view? Yeah, the view is amazing. It felt a little wobbly for me. Like I think when you try to get used to it moving around. Um, but yeah, the view is amazing. It seems perfect where it's mounted. Yeah. So I think it's got a good view on it. And so. there's no view of the, the, the airplane itself. You're just no. totally seeing the, the landscape yeah. and everything. Yeah. And you were reading, so what do you reckon? Have a look in the goggles. What did we get? Uh, Top speed. It should give you maximum speed. It's gone speed. off, powered off, cool down. Oh, has it? It <laughs> did say 93 mile an hour. Okay, so just under 100. Yeah. So in, what we're going to do, we're going to change the props to two blade and see what we can get. And see what we can get out of that. George at 4MAX thinks we should get another 10, 15 miles now. How an fast hour. did it go? 93. We reckon 93. Right. All right, back soon. They will record as soon as I arm. Cool. All right, so here we go. We've changed the props to two blades. So we should get a bit more. Are we armed? We are armed. We are armed. So, I mean, that high rates mode. Okay, ready? Nice launch. Thank you, Adrian. Switching to Acro. Our battery goes to 50% straight away. <laughs> well, it's got two big motors pulling on it, I guess. It has, yeah. <laughs> now, disappointingly, on that first flight, I didn't record the OSD in the goggles, but I've turned that on. I'm hoping you're seeing that now. Full power. Max speed now. 114 miles an hour. 114! Yeah, that's better. It cruises at 90. <laughs> 117 miles. 117! Oh, we're getting there. <laughs> Adrian says I need a bigger dive. I can hear a Chinook in the background. One hundred and ninety. One hundred and ninety. One more mile an hour. One twenty. Come on. <laughs> Thank God for the white clouds, otherwise I might lose it. <laughs> Gone instantly. Full throttle, come on. 123. 123! <laughs> I told you, verticals the aim of the game. <laughs> right, how are we doing on the pack? Uh, pack is showing 30%. Oh, oh, better than the last one. Yeah, 2 minutes 15 on the timer. But as you said on the last one, we were doing lots of um, setup, weren't we? We were, yeah. We for a while. had it in the back of the van for a while, so. Would have taken a little bit of juice out of it. I tell you what, now that we're making some speed, it's a. I tell you, don't blink. <laughs> be bloody gone. Well, I can only see it on here, and it's fairly calm on here, I have to say. One hundred and twenty-seven. Did we have one hundred and twenty-seven before? No, we had one hundred and twenty-three. On one hundred and twenty-seven. Yeah, it's because you were downwind. That's the better end to come from. Now he tells me. How are we doing on pack? Still good? Yeah, uh, twenty-two percent. One more. One more, yeah. Oh, excuse my French, <laughs> but it's literally a dot. Whoa, that was close. That was 124 mile an hour and about an oh, inch and a half shoes, from the ground. Gone. I hate flying it into the blue. Right, I'll back off now. God, I would not want to fly this on a pure blue sky day. <laughs> right, so. Here we go. And I'm on high rates. What I hadn't done was up the voltage supplied to the servos. They will do high voltage on these, but I've not done that stupidly. They're a little bit lazy.
Chat <laughs> Jingo! Twenty-two percent of recovered voltage, so you're not bad. You're still fine. I've either died or you've killed it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, there that was not one, of my, what, not one of my best landings. It, like it was mine. quite yeah. rapid. <laughs> oh, you got to get the one camera, one. yeah. <laughs> right, so. Yeah, a bit fast on the landing. Now this yeah. is 3D printed, so you always worry that it's going to be in lots of different parts. Again, no glasses, so I can't tell how many parts we've got. I think <laughs> I can see at least three. That looks like the canopy, though. We've got a spare one. What have we got? Canopy, canopy. The plane looks intact. Oh, uh, what's that there? That's your camera. Oh. Uh, or the module. And the, and the air unit. And it's, yeah. let's have a look at the cable. Where would the cable plug in? In the back there, so. Do you know what the plane's intact? It's just the canopy, by it's, the way. Oh, it's and it's oh, it's pulled the camera out. Big reveal for turning over. All right. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like we've got some damage in the back here, in that tail section, and that wing tip, and that is it. Oh, and the nose. And the nose. What would you do about that? Um, to be honest with you, such a small part, I'd probably just cut that piece out in and CAD. Glue it on. And then just print another piece and stick it on. Um, and potentially could do the exact same thing with a tail, to be honest, because it's only small. Um, it has got the fin as well, so maybe, maybe not. But I'll be honest, for the speed of what it looked like on here, that it hit. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. There's not much damage to that at all. I mean, the canopies ate it, but the back half's good. Let you who pour is the way forward. Because <laughs> now we've still got the back. Oh, we don't have to reprint that. Part of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks like the camera. I'm not sure if that's recoverable because it's pulled it out. And I'm guess, yeah, I'm guessing that that is, oh, no. that is broke. But the air unit is okay. It's just going to be getting a new. FPV camera, which will be a few quid. But there you go. So anyway, that was. I think we got. What was the top speed you called out? 127 miles. An that's hour. That's pretty decent. So not bad at all. And that's on 4S. And right? that's on 4S. Yeah. So next time when we come back, I think we'll change out the motors for 6S. Oh, yeah. that that is going to be super frightening. Because it was frightening enough when you know up there when it went into the, that blue patch up there. I just gone. <laughs> it was gone. See, on here it's actually fairly calm. Like it doesn't feel, you know, everything feels quite long and smooth and drawn yeah. out. It doesn't feel like when you're flying it. I've obviously flown at FPV, and when you're flying at FPV, it does. It feels like it's really using up the whole space. Yeah, really quick. it is. But on here, you feel like you've got loads of time. I don't. I think the only way to fly it next time would be FPV because right. I'm. I might actually lose it if I. Uh... On 6S, I think it's going to have to be. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching. Check. Thanks, Nick. No problem at all. I'm off to print another one. <laughs> we'll print another one. <laughs>